Okay, we're on our way to eat some poison or pick some poison. We're on our way to pick some poison. We are on our way to harvest some poke greens. The place that we're going right now is on a walking trail, which is not maintained. So it should be relatively clean. If there are people parked here already on this walking trail, I might have to get a stick and chase them away from our poke. Let's go. Actually, let me take off my glasses. The deer have been out here. The question is, how do you find poke? How do you identify it? Can you look around until you see a plant that looks like poke? I know that's a stupid answer, but I'll show you. Right there is some poke greens. Now, if you look, here is some dead poke greens from the previous year. It's hollow stemmed and it dies back. And at the base of where those come out, you'll see poke greens popping out. There's some more right there. There's some shorter bits right there, some shorter pieces. There's poke greens all through here. Some of it is a little too big. I may have waited a little too late to get out here. That's starting to flower. Once it starts to flower, it's too late. That's gonna, that plant's gonna be tough. It's gonna start devoting energy elsewhere. I may have waited too late to harvest poke, but we still got some young ones down here beneath. So we'll be able to get, we'll be able to get some younger shoots off the bottom of these and leave those tall ones to grow back. But here's some more of that. At the base of that is where it's gonna be growing from. And look how big these guys are getting already. Yeah, I waited way too long to get out here. You don't wanna get too far down on the stem because down in the root area, that get, that's where you really get poisonous on these plants. So I'm gonna stay with right around the first true leaves. I'll go ahead and pull off there and start putting them in our bag. show you how big these plants eventually grow there's a stalk from last year look how thick that is but it is hollow think about it is poke grows really really fast we missed our window here you know maybe two weeks Ooh, always check your poke when you're harvesting it look at that guy right there back in there some heavier growing stuff I think there's some younger stuff growing in it. But I'm not gonna wade through to find it. I'm really just gonna chalk this up to missing my window. Ooh, there's one. Getting eaten by mosquitoes. That's about the tiniest mess of poke you ever seen. But it'll be enough to uh, get a taste of it in my belly. Ooh, honeysuckle. Now the question is, Am I gonna get home without ticks on me? Hmm, that'll be fun looking for those. But we got what we got. That's not too bad, Batch. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and start stripping leaves. The main thing to look for in your leaves is to make sure that there is no red in that spine going there. Now some people are so paranoid they'll even cut the rib completely out of the leaf. I don't think that's necessary. I haven't come across any more creepy crawlies. Second I said that, there one is. Check yourself. Third boil. This is it. All of that cooked down to this little container. All that for a drop of blood. So what do I do with it? You could eat it just like canned spinach right now. How much bacon grease? I don't know. You could put a dog turd in bacon grease and make it taste better. So put as much bacon grease as you need to make this taste good. We're basically cooking a weed, so use too much. So what is this doing? This is cooking off a lot of that water and concentrating the flavors. Say hi, Lucy. And you can season it how you want. Just a little bit of a black pepper and salt. That's good. If you want it a little spicier, hey, throw in some spicy. Have you ever seen anything cook that much? Boiled three times, thrown into the frying pan and still retain that color of green? I don't know, it's not natural. At a certain point, you're gonna see you've cooked most of the extra water out of it. And then we're going to go ahead and crack our eggs. 
And that's it. Eating poke. Mm. This may be poisonous, so I'm gonna edit this later on tonight. So if this is uploaded, I survived.